I have an interesting situation that I'd like to show you. Way easier if we just jump right into the computer. Let's go for it. All right, so I'm working on the SLC, um, the super light car from Race Car Replicas. Um, this car is super cool and the community is awesome because the, a lot of the people that own them modify them heavily. So what we're doing is we're modifying this car with a whole new side venting system, moving the edge of this vent up towards the body line, and I believe we're just gonna get rid of it altogether. And same thing with the rear, we're gonna build a carbon fiber scoop to help get more air into the back of the car. My drawings have this little landing around the door opening, and as I was doing the concept model for the changes, the client really liked, or he wanted this just to come to a nice clean point. And that's fine, we can make it look like it's coming to a clean point, but in reality, we wanna keep this little landing right here around the door line, cut, the cut line. What that does is it allows us to keep the, the factory edge or the factory fillet on the body. And whatever angle that we have coming off this, that panel going into the scoop or down here into the front scoop, it's a lot easier to control that if we have the little landing. I created this little illustration just to show kind of what happens with fillets and surfaces. And right now it's just a right angle with a circular fillet on it. If we start adding an angle that would like, you know, move into the scoop or go into the front scoop, that fillet is going to start walking around or moving based on that angle. Now we could leave the fillet and cut very carefully and graph our new surface in um, below the fillet, but then it becomes very difficult blending into the fillet. There's only one solution here of you have to flow right off the tangent of that fillet. Now if we add the little landing, we isolate that secondary surface from the OEM or the part line. So let's jump into Alias and I'll show you a few examples, kind of build up to the actual door cut line or what we're going to do, how we'll solve this. So we'll start with just a, a simple cube. I'll take this and let's grab that guy. We'll just actually. Oh, if you guys aren't using pasting options, for inside of Alias, you really should. It's fantastic. Uh, so yeah, so let's just take our piece. There's our our um, door cut, and let's scale it. Whoa, <laughs> non-proportional scale. There we go. And uh, let's fill it. So this is a typical, let's say, a part line. Here's one side of the body panel. Here's another. Now, if these are continuous. Perfect, everything's gonna line up nice and sweet, uh, as long as the flange is the same angle. So in this example, yep, that's cool, 10 and 10. There we go. So that's that's a typical, we got a 10 miller, well in a car it would be a smaller cap and a smaller radii, but that, uh, that layout is typical. They're very uniform and even. Now if I take the lower panel and um, yeah, and we start twisting this. So for example, we can just take this and I'll, we'll, we'll grab all of these CVs on the lower half. And I just start moving those in on Y. If I start moving those in on Y, you can see, let's go to a different view. Let's go to the bottom. You can see that our position of our fillet is beginning to move inwards and exposing a lot more of the gap. Now, if I get really extreme with this, the fillet is gonna really push under the door line. And that just makes the perceived quality, well, terrible, <laughs> to be all honest. So what we wanna do is we wanna figure out how to control that fillet so it remains perfectly aligned with the body and the um, the new body, sorry, with the door panel and the new body. So let's go ahead and we'll just recreate this. We'll we'll fake it with a plane. It's fairly it's very fairly slab side. So so 
So this should be a good start. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll just create a curve, create another one. Yeah, that looks cool. We'll get this, get that, just to have a little bit of shape. Great. And then we'll curve fill it these pieces. What's that, 100? Let's add, let's make it a little larger. And we're going to go curvature. Cool. So very simple setup. Now we want to offset this curve. And so we'll use the new curve offset tool. And I'll just select our curves. Make sure you turn off attach. Oh, I think on by default or something, but make sure this is never on. Terrible. CV offset. We have really nice curves, 10 mil offset, which is fine for this example. I'm going to project. Click Y on the keyboard to make sure it's projecting in Y. And there we go. We'll just delete those guys. We don't need them. So there's our door gap. Divide these. There we go. Select the center one. Delete. Perfect. Draft. And uh, we don't need that long. And we just want to make sure, at least at this point, it's a right angle. So a zero draft angle. And then we'll go in and fill it these pieces. All right. So I hope you guys uh, don't mind me building this on the fly. Um, I think seeing other people work is always helpful to really nail the concept and, and, and learn from alias. So right now, because this panel, these were the same panel and they're only right angle, the fillets are perfectly aligned with each other. The gap remains consistent. Now, where the problem begins is I'm going to query edit and just undo that fillet, hide that piece. The problem exists is when the angles start changing. Um, so the hood to grill, this happens often. Body panels or anything that uses a cut line to mark the change of a surface, like what we're doing, it really becomes an issue. So we're going to we'll just build something quickly here. And oh, 70 sounds good. Cool. We'll angle this in. Um, I'm going to use draft for this little piece. Now, I want to show you something, because this is just drafting in, what is that, X. But reality is we want to have this a right angle off of this point where these two surfaces meet. To do that, what you can do is you can draft in. Let's just go in like that, in Y. And then go 90 degrees, or in this case, negative 90 degrees. And now when it builds the surface, Perfectly 90 off of that point right there. And now when we do, a say, a freeform blend, awesome, super cool. Now, um, I did, this is built with form. Uh, any sort of, the curve fillet tool uses the form shape control or blend control. So in order to get that to match, let's see if we can use form here. Oh, man, form doesn't always like it. Yeah, so we'll go to shape. Shape pretty much always builds something. Anyway, yeah, this is, whoops, go nine. There we go. No, that didn't help out at all. What a waste of time. All right, so we've got curvature. We've got this panel. Oops, I never, I didn't adjust our panel. We want to make sure that angles change severely through this section, right? And now, when we fill it, these two parts. So we've got these three pieces to that one. We'll use the same settings. So here, OK, looks cool. Yep. But when we start turning, you can see that our fillet is completely offset from the original position. I even have the templated part here. Um, I use templates a lot just to point that out. So I can see where it's supposed to be, the edge, and now where it's landing up because of this angle. And this really makes or breaks uh, your models, especially well, for production, you have to approach it differently. These fillets pretty much always need to line up. So let's make that happen. 
And this is only one technique. I mean, there's several ways I've done it in the past. Um, so, you know, take it for what it is. So we'll just open, take our surface back. We want to keep this edge to build this fillet off of. And what I'm going to do is use tubular offset. And what tubular offset um, does is it creates a tube surface. And let's just switch it to tube. So it creates a tube. And this can be used for a lot of different uh, purposes. But in this case, by switching it to none, it's just going to give us a offset, a curve on surface offset of this edge. And 25, yeah, that will work for right now. That's fine. Um, and then I'll trim, whoops, keep. There we go. So now we have that. Now I'm going to fill it this piece. All right? Flip our arrows. Now we're right back to where we started. Those fillets line up absolutely perfect. And now off of this little landing will be where I build my surfaces that will flow into the vent or do whatever they're doing. Again, this is a pretty universal uh, technique that can apply in a lot of different situations. And it will make your model just absolutely gorgeous. These are the little details that really make something look production. And we'll just freeform blend between those two. Cool. And surface fill it. I'll just use the same. Oh, look at this. Now, I want to point this out. So in the fillet tool, it's set to radius. So as the angle between these two surfaces increase, the fillet will be small. And as they get more acute, sharper, the fillet will, get, will become larger. And we really don't want that. So we're going to set this to chordal. And uh, we'll set yeah tangent length to 10. And just to make this, let's actually make it a little less so we can just see what's going on here. There we go. Chordal make, get, make sure our fillets are all the exact same distance apart, which is really nice. And now you can see by having that little landing track along the door, when you're sighting the fillets, they're all going to be nice and consistent and exactly like the factory in this case for the, uh, the super light car. Any angle that we add to flow into the vent, you know, it's going to have this little landing here. But, you know, we could do all sorts of things to hide this. So we could switch it to curvature, increase the size and start really flowing out of that section. We could actually build it right off of this other fillet um, so that you know it's just kind of a continuous wrap and we never get the flat, this little flat section here. Um, but you know, whatever you do, having that little landing, again, make sure that all of the door gaps are even and consistent, and especially the highlight that will run along that part. So I hope that helped out uh, this concept. I think seeing it in 3D is a lot better than just a simple uh, graphic that shows kind of the same thing. Awesome. Thank you for uh, checking this out. Um, if you guys need any help with Alias, by all means, drop something into the comments. Ask me what you're looking for, and I can build some uh, really quick tutorials or help you guys out. Awesome. Peace. Rock on.